Welcome back to Ion Business Innovation. We are here at the South by Southwest Conference on Venture to Venture, and we are pleased to have with us Delilah. Delilah, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, pleasure to be here. Can you tell us just a little bit briefly about your own background and how you got to South by Southwest? Wow, it's been a journey from Canada, so I'm Canadian by background. Okay. My, uh, my experience has been in the capital markets, working for the stock exchange in Canada for 10 okay. years. I traveled around the world getting companies to go public. Uh, after 10 years of that, I decided to change my life, and I um, packed up, moved to Los Angeles to do my startup. Okay. And, uh, and now I'm very much entrenched in the startup community. And today, I put together a panel on alternative sources of capital, which is so critical for all entrepreneurs, yep. and uh, that's what brought me here today. So you had a very interesting panel today, and uh, they talked about a variety of funding sources, but there seem to be some common threads across mm -hmm. those sources. Can you maybe highlight for us what some of those common threads are, what people have to do or should do or try to do? Yeah, at the end of the day, no matter what kind of venture you are starting, whether it's a lifestyle company or the next great company that's going to be purchased by Google or go public, every company has to access capital at some point. And that could be from your friends and family or from a bank yeah. or from venture capitalists or angels. To be prepared for investors, there are a few really key things that every company should do. One, obviously the entrepreneur needs to be the expert, so they really yeah. need to understand their industry and their market, you know, and answer any question about it. So investors want to see that. They want to make sure that you have your corporate house in order so that you have your corporate uh, corporately f uh, formed properly, okay. you have all your agreements in place. They want to make sure that you have all your investor documents. So okay. no matter if you're going to a, bi a, loan f a bank for a business loan or okay. a va venture capitalist, you need a business plan, a financial model, executive summary, pitch deck, all those financial documents. Um, you want to make sure you have your IP in order. So many okay. companies go out and raise capital, especially with crowdfunding, without having any registration of their IP. So that is really critical. Investors will immediately ask, you know, are you trademarked? Do you have any patents? You know, how are you protected from an IP point of view? And then the other thing is at the end of the day is just be confident because especially in the early stages of raising capital, the investors are betting on you, you okay. know, the jockey versus the horse. And so okay. you really need to be confident and to be very passionate about what you're doing. Because keep in mind, no matter who's giving you money, especially if it's strangers, why would they give you money? It's because of you. They believe that you have the ability uh, to take their money, responsibly use it, and build a company out of it. Okay. Now it seems like a lot of this comes down to the interface of the pitch. The entrepreneur pitching to the potential investor. Right. But re regardless of whether it's angels are pitching to VCs, crowdfunding, um, what are the ways in which you think entrepreneurs can best prepare for that pitch? Well, you know, there are a lot of resources now. There certainly are pitch competitions. There's yep. there's courses online that you can look at. It yep. really comes down to being able to tell your story very succinctly. Okay. But the story is about, you know, who you are, why you're passionate about it, but what problem are you solving in the world? Okay. Okay. That there is actually a market need for what you want, there's a demand, and that there's a customer base big enough um, to make, you know, they often say you need to have a, at least a million to, you know, million dollar marketplace, okay. million customers, and yep. a b equaling a billion dollars in sales ultimately. So, but your pitch is just got to be a succinct, you know, elevator pitch, they always call it, of yep. what yep. is your story, what problem are you solving, and how are you going to make money? Because okay. the only thing the investor really cares about is how do you, how are they going to get their money back and when? So it sounds in some ways like the pitch is all about just getting out there and trying it and learning from there? Is there any shortcuts to maybe not making so many mistakes that you there, can see? There or? really isn't. I mean, at the end of the day, you need to just tell your story to as many people as possible and get feedback. So start with friends and family, start with colleagues, start with your advisors, and then you know, going to your community. Every every city has a startup community. Yep, yep. There are networking events. There are you know pitch competitions. Okay. There are accelerators to talk to. So there's people that you can do your pitch with, and they'll, they'll tell you. If they, and you can tell in someone's eyes, if their eyes are glazing over when you're talking, then you've already missed it. So, but you, it's just practice. And because you should be able to rattle it off, no matter who can, comes up to you, literally in the elevator, you should be able to say your pitch. And it should just be really effortless. Now you mentioned feedback. What, what's the best feedback qualities that feedback givers can provide to their entrepreneurs? To be honest, the best feedback is to be honest. And okay. so th this is a challenge, and we've heard that in some of the sessions uh, this week at this conference, is that 
the problem is that we usually have a business idea and then we ask our friends and family what they think of it. Yep. And of course they're going to say that they love it because they support you. Yep. That's not helpful to you. You right. actually yep. need to talk to people who are going to be really honest about if they get your idea, if they think it's stupid, if they think it's not okay. going to fly. Now again, some entrepreneurs would still go for it anyways because there is a market and certainly yep. there are lots yep. of entrepreneurs we know about who you have to be tenacious, but still you want the most honest feedback possible and the best thing is to talk to potential customers. Now I get the impression that you're in the feedback giving business as well, is that correct? Yeah, I've actually been a pitch coach um, okay. in, in Los Angeles. I'm part of the uh, Women in, in, in Lava, LA Venture Association, I'm a pitch coach for them. We have a, um, uh, an event coming up in LA this fall for women called Chick Launcher. Okay. So I'm actually organizing all their, um, their pitch coaching okay. for them. So yeah, I, I have done that a lot. So tell us a little bit more about this event. Oh, which event? The Chick Launcher event? Yes. Oh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a business plan competition and a pitch competition for women entrepreneurs in Los Angeles. Okay. And it's in, and it's in uh, October as the event. You can go to chicklauncher.com. Chicklauncher.com. Okay, yeah. great. Well, any final words of advice for entrepreneurs out there from somebody who's been on the coaching <laughs> mentoring side? <laughs> and, and, I, and I had my own startup and it hasn't gone well yet, but I'm, I'm learning a yep, lot yep, and yep. so and I hope to relaunch it soon. But you really, you know, they always say you have to be passionate about what, what yeah, you're yeah. building, but you really do. But you also need to try to set yourself up financially okay. for the best okay. success. Because the, okay. the hardest part about being an entrepreneur is not making any money. Okay. And so you have to hopefully have an infrastructure that can support you financially so okay. that that stress doesn't add to the stress of already okay. doing a startup. But, and then really it's important to surround yourself with people just like you or that you aspire to be like. Because okay. you need the constant inspiration when, the, when it's tough, and it is tough. Having a startup is very difficult, so you need people to prop you up, to help you, to inspire you, to make you think that it's all worth it in the end. Well, you've been a great panel leader today and a great source of information for our audience. Great. And we really want to thank you for helping us out here today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Okay. You have been watching Ion Business Innovation, and we are here at South by Southwest in Las Vegas.